Did you know that in April 2020, the FDA issued an immediate recall of all forms of prescription and over-the-counter ranitidine? Ranitidine, sold under the brand name Zantac among others, is a medication used to decrease stomach acid production. It is commonly used in treatment of peptic ulcer disease and gastroesophageal reflux disease. The said product recall was made because unacceptable levels of NDMA, a probable carcinogen, were found in some ranitidine products. This is one of the reasons why numerous acid reflux sufferers have been looking for natural alternatives for managing their acid reflux. According to the American Gastroenterological Association, more than 60 million Americans will experience heartburn at least once a month and 15 million suffer from it daily. Papaya has long been purported to aid the digestive tract. People in the tropics consider papaya to be a remedy for constipation and other symptoms of irritable bowel syndrome. You've probably already heard that papaya can ease the indigestion and heartburn experienced with acid reflux. But do we have solid scientific evidence to support this claim? Unfortunately, as of creating this presentation, there's no specific study that proves ripe papaya fruit is effective for managing acid reflux. On the other hand, there's a study published in 2018. 200 people with indigestion fully participated in this study. The researchers concluded that papaya extract was significantly effective gastroprotective as compared with placebo. Papaya extract relieved symptoms such as stomach pain, vomiting, nausea, heartburn, burping, and bloating. This study had a limited number of participants though, so further clinical trials on larger populations are needed to confirm these preliminary findings. By the way, before I continue, if you're new here, welcome! I am Jara from the Philippines. I love learning about new things and here on my channel, I share some information that I've learned from reading scientific journals and research articles that you may find interesting and are helpful. My favorite topics are related to health, skincare, personal development, dogs, and cats. If you're also a lover of learning but don't have extra time to read long scientific journals, let me do the research for you. Subscribe to my channel and turn on the notifications so that you can save time. Moving on, one small papaya contains 3 grams of fiber. In a study published on the U.S. National Library of Medicine website on June 7, 2018, the researchers investigated the effect of dietary fiber on symptoms and esophageal function testing parameters in non-erosive gastroesophageal reflux disease patients. They concluded that fiber-enriched diet led to a significant increase of minimal lower esophageal sphincter resting pressure, a decrease of number of gastroesophageal refluxes, and a decrease of heartburn frequency per week in non-erosive gastroesophageal reflux disease patients. Furthermore, papaya contains a digestive enzyme called papain. The more unripe the papaya, the more active the papain. Papain helps break down food proteins into simpler, easier to digest amino acids, leading to improved digestion and decreased stomach acid production. On April 3, 1886, Dr. George Herschel reported the benefits of papain for treating heartburn in the British Medical Journal. Dr. Herschel was a physician practicing in London during the late 19th and early 20th centuries. He was an expert on heartburn. His book, Indigestion, the Diagnosis and Treatment of the Functional Derangements of the Stomach, was published in 1905. There is a study published in the April 2012 issue of Biogenic Amines that investigated the role of papain in digestive disorders. 42 participants who received papain experienced improvements in gas and bloating compared to 42 who took a placebo. When your stomach is distended from gas and bloating, the acidic stomach contents are more likely to travel upward past the muscular ring that separates the stomach and esophagus, causing acid reflux. Although this study suggests papaya enzymes can be beneficial in managing acid reflux, more research is needed to validate these findings as this particular study involved only 42 participants. 
Moreover, in a double-blind placebo-controlled study published on the U.S. National Library of Medicine website in 2013, it showed that a whole papaya preparation called Caracol significantly improved constipation and bloating in people with chronic gastrointestinal dysfunction. If you'd like to read the study, just click on the link in the description box below. Additionally, in a review published on May 25, 2014, titled A Review on Anti-Ulcer Activity of Few Indian Medicinal Plants, papaya extract decreased stomach acidity and ulcer size in rats with stomach ulcers. Effects in humans and animals are not always the same though. All in all, the existing evidence is insufficient to confirm the therapeutic effects of papain in acid reflux therapy, but warrants the development of further clinical trials to investigate it. Severe or frequent acid reflux is considered gastroesophageal reflux disease, which can lead to gastric ulcers and increase the risk of esophageal cancer. If you experience persistent or worsening symptoms, it's prudent to contact your doctor. Side effects reported after using papaya enzyme are mild and include itching, diarrhea, and stomach pain. Discuss with your doctor if papain may be useful as a complementary approach in your case and which dose you should take. Papaya may cause allergic reactions in people allergic to latex. Green papaya contains the most potential for allergic reactions and should not be eaten raw. Also, studies in pregnant rats show that unripe or semi-ripe papaya stimulated contractions and papaya extracts lowered spermatility and fertility in male rats and mice. Therefore, pregnant women or couples trying to conceive should probably avoid papain supplements based on these rat studies. Rainbow papaya and sun of papaya are two GMO varieties that now make up 80% of the papaya grown in Hawaii, one of the world's biggest producers. Allergic reactions and antibiotic resistance are some of the several health concerns associated with GMO crops. Opt for non-GMO fruit whenever possible. If you've learned something you didn't know before watching this presentation, please give this video a like. If science-based content on health and beauty is also your cup of tea, please consider subscribing. I appreciate your support. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in my next presentation.